touchdowns last week, Rob Gronkowski made the earth shake as he often does with his massive spikes. So we're asking you, send us your best video of your spike. You can spike whatever you want, but please be careful, no babies. Uh, at the end of the show, we'll show you uh, the winning video. And that person, again, one of 17 to enter a trip to win a uh, trip to the Super Bowl. It's the hashtag at countdown to SB50. Countdown continues right after this. So far this season, we've seen our fair share of new faces and new places, and that includes here at ESPN. To help us navigate the off-season comings and goings, Frank Caliendo enlisted the help of our newest teammates on ABC. Here now, Kermit the Frog and company. They help us get up to date on the changes in the NFL. To me, it looks a little questionable. Let me show you something here. Don't spike. Uh, somebody told me, no, that I'm supposed to spike him. I would never spike a bear. You hug bears. You spike football. I never spiked a football. I think one time in my life. I can't do it like Gronk. But, uh, uh, behind now, he doesn't do it that way. That's pretty good. We'll be right back after this. From Hasselbeck, let's talk about Matt Ryan passing for 145 yards in the fourth quarter. Mm. All right, so the rally from a 2010 deficit. What impressed you the most about Matty Ice? Well, there's an offensive change design throughout his coaching career. And Matt Ryan already is very comfortable doing it. And they're just feasting on the NFC East. So now they're 2-0. and Then they're going to go play the Cowboys without Tony Romo next week. So things looking very good in the ATL. And Tim is with us all morning long. Particular week. That's not going to change what I believe as far as my analysis goes on him and the long-term long -term aspect of it. But the perspective of what they did in this game was really, you know, it first starts with coach. Can he evolve and get better? Because... You can't live like this on a consistent basis. You're going to eventually have to evolve and play better. Okay, so you get a win here or there, but this does not a career make. Let me ask you about this. Josh McCown, if he gets cleared from concussion protocol, which is certainly entirely possible, right. should he start next week or should Johnny Manziel start next week? With, you know, brings Johnny Manziel along. Well, now that he's played, you've got a game plan that you can build from. Mm -hmm. You go. And then at the end of this year, you'll know where you stand. I mean, can, but you say that can they win consistently with this game plan? They have the Raiders coming in next week. Well, now keep in mind, you have to think of the whole thing that happened. I mean, they... Yeah, yeah. Uh, welcome back. 6-6 six, six starting quarterbacks right now are either rookies or in their second year in the league. So, Max, yes. you will now rank the best young quarterbacks using... The confidence and I will guys. rely on the 10 years I spent in the NFL. Absolutely. <laughs> that is what you will do. And we will. Where he did not look so amazing. I'm going to put him here mm. for now. He's on. I'm treating him like a rookie quarterback. I'm writing off last season. That was the first start where he knew, okay, I'm starting. And he did okay. And, you know, they won the game and he played okay. You're talking about a shot who really runs a lot. You usually don't look good as a rookie. And he's already uh -oh. looking pretty good, I think, to tell you the truth. Oh. Now. The reason I have him ahead of Carr is because he is a rookie. Carr is in his second season. Interesting. So Carr has a running start on Winston. At the moment, Carr's... Daily Fantasy analyst Cynthia Freeland. Look, when you have quarterbacks, those are a big part of this Daily Fantasy. First, before we get to that, how did your teams do this weekend? How did your lineups do? My quarterback did really well. So Andy Dalton was a good pick. I was really happy about that. So it was a buy low, sell, yeah. get high? Yeah, he was, he was only 5,800, so I'm really happy about that. Still have a couple players going tonight, so... Fingers like crossed. Fingers on that crossed. One. All right, so yeah. we talked about the quarterback issues going into week three. Give me some quarterbacks now. You're thinking of starting with some starters that could be out this week. So don't get it confused. My first one's actually playing tonight, but I like him next week. That's Andrew Luck. He's, you know, there, there's always a concern about interceptions for him, but he actually profiles very low for that this week. Carson Palmer's got that thing going for Arizona right now. So there's the quarterbacks mm -hmm. you're targeting in week three. Give me the week. So I'm looking there for some extra value. And it is worth pointing out, PPR, points per reception. Points running per back reception. to catch the ball out of the backfield. Even more value for you, the beautiful viewer. Give me some wide receivers. I'm spending up here. I like Antonio Brown again this weekend. It's the only next week. Who's the player you have going tonight? <sighs> Should I tell you? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I have Chris Ivory. Chris Ivory. Yeah. I like it. Goal yeah. line guy. Gets you a touchdown. Let's see it. All right, we'll see what happens. <laughs> Cynthia with us every day here to recap all things Daily Fan.